Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Meets of Children. We are discussing about 8th standard English medium social science in that history chapter number 10 continued part of the Chalukyas of Badami and the Pallavas of Kanchi. In the previous session, we get the information about the, the Chalukyas of Badami a rulers' achievements and the contributions of the Chalukyas of Badami in the different fields. Let's come to the, in this session, we are going to get the information about the Pallavas of Kanchi. The Pallavas of Kanchi, they ruled from 350 CE to 895 CE. The Pallavas are the first kings of Tamil Nadu. They started their administration system that is from the Tamil Nadu. They enjoyed a special place among the dynasties which ruled South India. Many other rulers, they have provided administration system in the southern part of India. Even Pallavas are also enjoyed the special place among the southern dynasties of South India. They ruled from 4th century to 9th century. In the beginning, they were the officials of Shatavahanas. They are under the control of the Shatavahanas. They are the federatory rulers of Shatavahanas. When the Shatavahana dynasty declined, the Pallavas declared themselves kings of the territory as a independent rulers after the decline of Shatavahanas, Pallavas of Kanchi, they declared themselves as a independent rulers. Among that, here it is, you can see uh, their administration system. The Rannik Pallava Empire, the Pallava Empire of Dravidia, they provided their administration system in the southern part of India. Shivaskanda Varma was the first king of this dynasty. Shivaskanda Varma considered as the first ruler of Pallavas of Kanchi. The Pallavas and the Kadambas harbored perpetual enmity towards each other. So as we are get the information about the Kadambas, between the there will be a lot of enmity between the Pallavas and the Kadambas. Subsequently, Purakeshi second of the Chalukya dynasty defeated the Mahendra Varma of Pallava dynasty. As we already get the information about that, Pulakeshi II. He defeated the Mahendra Varma of Pallava dynasty. So, that is a biggest enmity between Pallavas of Kanchi and Kadambas. Then after Narasimha Varma I, who came later, was the most famous and powerful ruler among the Pallavas of Kanchi. He took the revenge on Chalukyas by defeating the Pulakeshi II and capturing Vatapi. Because of Pulakeshi II defeated his uh, uh, father Mahendra Varma. As a result of that, when Narasimha Varma first ascended the throne, he defeated Pulakeshi II and captured the Vatapi. These daring acts own him the titles named called as Mahamalla and Vatapi Konda. So these are the titles of Narasimha Varma. When Narasimha Varma was ruling under his court, Huyen Sang, the Chinese traveler, visited to the Kanchi during the administration system of Narasimha Varma first. Narasimha Varma built a city on the sea coast. Near Kanchi, it is named as Mahabalipuram. The city which was constructed by Narasimha Varma near Kanchi on the sea coast, it is called as Mahabalipuram. Many monolithic temples were built by Narasimha Varma. During the administration system of, during the reign of Aparajita Pallava, Aditya of Chola dynasty put the end of the Pallava rule. Finally, 
the Pallava dynasty, it was come to an end under the administration system of Aparajita Pallava, the last ruler of Pallava, that is Aparajita Pallava, he was come under the defeat of Aditya of the Choda dynasty. So he was ended the Pallava dynasty. So thus the administrative achievements of the Pallavas it is come to an end. Let's come to the what are the very important contributions of Pallavas in the different fields. The introduced systematic administration system in Tamil Nadu because they started they provided administration center it is in the Tamil Nadu. Their contributions are significant in the field of literature, religion, art, architecture and education. When the Chalukyas resigned in Watapi and Pallavas of Kanchi, it was a heroic age in the south. So such a wonderful contribution has been uh, provided in the place of Watapi. So their administration system. Usually their kingdom was strong and organized. There were ministers and provincial officers. The kingdom had been divided into Mandala, Nadu and Grama for the administration convenience. The Grama Sabha dealt with the problems of village. Usually the problems of villages will look over by the Grama Sabha and Grama Bojaka looked after the village administration. Village administration will be looked after by the Grama Bojaka. The literary contributions of the Pallavas. The Pallavas encouraged both Sanskrit and Tamil. Kanchi was the center of Sanskrit literature. Very importantly, they gave the very important encouragement in the languages of Sanskrit and Tamil. Kanchi it was one of the very important learning center for the Sanskrit. The poet name called as Bharavi, the author of Kiratar Juneya and Dandi, the author of Dashakumara Charita were the poets in the Pallava court. The king Mahendra Verma himself wrote social drama name called as Matta Vilasa Prahasana and a book name called as Bhagavad Dujjuka are the very important literary contributions has been provided by Pallavas of Kanchi and their contribution in the field of religion. Pallavas encouraged all the religions irrespective. The treat all the religions are equal. Basically, the early Pallavas were the Buddhists. The great scholar of Nalanda University, Dharmapala, was born in Kanchi. The great scholar who was in the Nalanda University, name called as Dharmapala, was born in the place of Kanchi. Since Mahendra Verma was a follower of Jainism, there were many Jains in the kingdom. Shiva and Vaishnava religious sects uh, became popular during the 7th century. There are 63 great saints called Nyanmars propagated the Shaiva faith and 12 Alva saints propagated the Vaishnava faith. Somehow they have given wonderful contribution in the field of religion. Even the age, this age is witnessed the rise of Bhakti movement. It also supported the renaissance of the Vedic religion. Shlokas were written in Tamil language. Anyhow, these have become the treasure of Tamil literature. Tamil literature has got a lot of encouragement and support during the Pallavas of Kanchi. So their contribution in the field of art and architecture. Pallavas were lovers of art and architecture. They built many temples in their kingdom which were noteworthy for their artistic skill. The Pallavas architecture can be classified into two types. That is 
temples that have been carved out of stone that is the first one called carved out of stone and temples with sculptural pattern so these are the two types of architectural classifications were introduced by pallavas of kanchi in the field of art and architecture many temples curved in rocks can be seen in mahabalipuram wonderful monolithic sculptures have been curved in these temples they tell the stories of mahabharata and bhagavata so the temples many temples curved in rocks can be seen even today in the place of mahabalipuram wonderful monolithic sculptures have been curved in these temples those curved will provide the information about the mahabharata and bhagavata and pancharatas are the famous monolithic temples were constructed by pallavas of kanchi and there will be a the curving of arjuna's meditation has emerged as an excellent work of art arjuna's meditation it was also curvings we can see in the temples of pallavas of kanchi in the art and architecture so here it is you can see the wonderful monuments of pallavas of kanchi mahabalipuram monuments the place of mahabalipuram monuments pictures has been uh, related to so these are the pancharathas so here the meditation of arjuna sea coast mahabalipuram temple and the temples of kailasanatha ekambaranatha and vaikuntha peramal at kanchi and the coastal temples at mahabalipuram are excellent examples of an ancient indian architecture the temples became centers of religious and artistic architects activities the temples were became the temples became centers of religious and artistic activities the rural folk gathered in the courtyard of the temples in the evenings and discussed many issues the people came here during their leisurely hours and either listened to the puranas and sang devotional songs in that way religious places it become very important role in the life of the pallavas in this manner the temples became social and educational centers so here it is the kailasanatha temple that is in kanchi here it is ekambaranatha temple vaikuntha peramal temple overall the pallavas had a good naval force merchants had travel trade relations with south asian countries like malaya indonesia and others we can see the influence of indian language faiths traditions and culture in those countries so here it is they have the trade relations with other countries by the pallavas of kanchi that's it about the today's session i hope you have understood till now what we are discussed in case if you have any doubts related to the entire lesson of chalukyas of bhadami and pallavas of kanchi you can comment in the comment box i will solve your doubts and i will come back with the next video until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day see you in the next session bye bye take care